BestBookBits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 12, Thinking. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50-chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written, and audio format for easy consumption, this series will empower you with the know-how and tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by myself, Michael George Knight, the creator of the YouTube channel Best Book Bits and the website bestbookbits.com, this series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring in the chapter 12 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Thinking. Think in is an active verb. It means you are actively using your mind to intelligently process, consider, and reason about something, whereby thoughts are just those compulsive, random, conditioned, and never-ending mind chatter coming and going. You might not have control of your thoughts coming and going, but you do have control over what you think about, do you not? You have the power at any time to consciously think about whatever you want. That's everybody's rightful gift, the freedom to think, the freedom to think. The gift of thinking we humans possess is by far one of the greatest miracles we possess. Invisible thoughts can and do shape our outer physical reality. The building blocks of life itself are thought. Thoughts by their very nature are invisible silent images darting in and out of our mind at a rate of roughly 35 to 48 thoughts per minute or 50,000 to 70,000 per day. An amazing feat in itself. The factory of our mind open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, producing thought after thought after thought after thought. With roughly 95% of our thoughts being fictional stories made up in our head. Fictional stories made up in our head, we live a silent life inside our heads with thoughts that are unreal. Draining our mental capacity, thinking about thoughts of the past events that we cannot do anything about, and anticipating future events that we cannot do anything about. We seldom think about the present moment which we have full control over. Present moment thinking. How many times does your mind wander off thinking about the past and the future, stealing your present moments away lost in thought? One productive technique to combat this habit of compulsive thinking is to begin to train your mind to think deeply about the present moment, which is always now. Check out the book by Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. The now is the only moment you can do anything about. You can only act in the present moment, not the past or the future. Focus your thinking on the present moment and the present actions you can take. By aligning your thinking on the present moment, you'll become more focused in the current moment and bring a certain quality to your life and actions. Think your dream into reality. How can you use the power of thoughts to manifest your dreams into reality? First, by becoming absolutely clear on what it is you want to bring about. Second, forming a clear image in your mind of the dream. Then thirdly, thinking about that very clear image constantly. By constantly thinking about your dreams, you start programming your conscious mind and most importantly, your subconscious mind. Imprinting your subconscious mind with the image of your dream, you start the process of changing your mental paradigm of where you are to where you want to be. You start the process of changing your current perception of reality to the reality you want to manifest. You begin to see reality as you want it to be instead of how it is. And the fourth and last part to thinking your dream into reality is taking the actions that bridge your current reality to the reality of your dreams. Quotes on thinking. 2% of people think, 3% of people think they think, and 95% of people would rather die than think. Which category are you in? 6 plus 3 equals 9, but so does 5 plus 4. The way you do things isn't always the only way to do them. Respect other people's way of thinking. A man is but a product of his thoughts. What he thinks, that he becomes. A man is what he thinks about all day long. A man is what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. A man's life is what his thoughts make of it. Action without thinking is the cause of every failure. 
The reverse of this is acting with thinking is the cause of every success. Always aim at complete harmony of thought and word and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts and everything will be well. As a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. Care about what other people think and you will always be their prisoner. Direct your thoughts, control your emotions and you ordain your destiny. Don't assume that you're wasting time when you take time out for thought. Thought is the foundation upon which all else is built by man. Each of us must live off the fruit of his thoughts and the future because what you think today and tomorrow, next month and next year, will mold your life and determine your future. You're guided by your mind. Every great thing starts out with a thought and is powered into realization by a belief. Every one of us is a sum total of his own thoughts. He is where he is because that is exactly where he really wants to be, whether he'll admit that or not. Everything you become and accomplished is determined by the way you think, by the way you use your mind. As you begin changing your mind, you begin changing your life. Free thinkers are those that are willing to use their mind without prejudice and without fearing to understand things that clash with their own customs, privileges, or beliefs. Here is a new spiritual practice for you. Don't take your thoughts too seriously. Don't take your thoughts too seriously. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. I didn't realize yet that thinking without awareness is the mind dilemma of human existence. I like thinking big. I always have. To me, it's very simple. If you're going to be thinking anyway, you might as well think big. Most people think small because most people are afraid of success, afraid of making decisions, afraid of winning, and that gives people like me a great advantage. I'm not the thought. I'm the thinker behind the thought. If everyone is thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking. If we understood the power of our thoughts, we would guard them more closely. If we understood the awesome power of our words, we would prefer silence to almost anything negative. In our thoughts and words, we create our own weaknesses and our own strengths. Our limitations and joys begin in our hearts. We can always replace negative with positive. If you are defeated in the thoughts, you will be defeated in your life. If you are defeated in your thoughts, you will be defeated in your life. If you are a champion in your thoughts, your success is inevitable. If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. If you think a certain thought again and again, you'll generate a thought pattern, which generates a continuous flow of emotion that goes with it. If you think you can or think you can't, you are right. If you want to teach people a new way of thinking, don't bother trying to teach them. Instead, give them a tool, the use of which will lead to new ways of thinking. Independent thinking is not only unconventional, it is the enemy of the very institutions that constitute the bulkwood of our society. It has been proven now scientifically that an affirmation thought is hundreds of times more powerful than a negative thought. It is not so much what happens to you as how you think about what happens. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it. Man can create nothing which he does not first conceive in the form of an impulse of thought. Man's greatness lies in his power of thought. My life is nothing but a mirror of my consistent thoughts. Nature has endowed man with absolute control over but one thing, and that is thought. No problem can withstand the assault of sustained thinking. Our innermost dominant thought does become our innermost tangible reality. Overthinking is a dream killer. Sometimes you can drown yourself in your own thoughts. Positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. Put your thoughts to sleep. Do not let them cast a shadow over the moon of your heart. Let go of thinking. Rarely do we find men who willingly engage in hard, solid thinking. There is an almost universal quest for an easy answers and half-baked solutions. Nothing pains some people more than having to think. Simply change your life. The world is what you think of it. So think of it differently and your life will change. So what oppresses and scares us 
It is our own thoughts. Obviously, what overwhelms people when they're about to leave friends, family, old haunts, and their accustomed way of life, thoughts. That which we literally become what we think about, that we must control our thoughts if we're to control our lives. It's understanding fully that as you sow, so shall you reap. As you sow, so shall you reap. The best thinking has been done in solitude. The worst has been done in turmoil. The great law of the universe simply stated is that if you think in negative terms, you will get negative results. If you think in positive terms, you will achieve positive results. The greater part of most people's thinking is involuntary, automatic, and repetitive. It is no more than a kind of mental static and fulfills no real purpose. Strictly speaking, you don't think. Thinking happens to you. The habit of negative thinking generates more and more negative thoughts. The law states that we translate into physical reality the thoughts and attitudes which we hold in our minds, no matter what they are. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. What you think, you become. The most thought-provoking thing in our thought-provoking time is that we are still not thinking. The positive thinker sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. The price or effort of thinking thoughts of love, prosperity, or self-confidence is no greater than the price given to thoughts of hate, poverty, or self-doubt. Only the rewards are different. The quality of your thinking has the greatest consequences of all. The quality of your thinking determines the quality of your choices and decisions. Your choices and decisions determine the actions you take. And the actions you take determine the quality and quantity of your results. The significant problems we face can't be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. It requires a new level of thinking, a new paradigm. The thoughts we choose to think are the tools we use to paint the canvas of our lives. The world in which you live is not primarily determined by outward conditions and circumstances, but by thoughts that habitually occupy your mind. There are two distinct classes of what are called thoughts, those that we produce in ourselves by reflection and the act of thinking, and those that bolt into the mind on their own accord. There is always room in your life for thinking bigger, pushing limits, and imagining the impossible. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Think twice before you speak, because your words and influence will plant the seed of either success or failure in the mind of another. Thinking can imagine new combinations, but it cannot know the unknown. Thinking is never original. Thinking is never original. Thinking good thoughts, positive and cheerful thoughts will improve the way you feel. What affects your mind also affects your body. Thinking helps make you happy. Thinking helps make you happy. And that's very important. And the more we learn, the greater our experiences, the more possibilities we put into the thinking raw material pile. And thinking is the father of creation. Thinking is the father of creation. Thinking is difficult. That is why most people judge. Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is the probable reason why so few engage in it. Thinking is the highest function of which a human being is capable, yet unfortunately, very few people think. Thinking is the one thing everyone has to do on his own. Each of us has a gold mine between his ears. That goes without saying. But digging in it is the world's hardest work, yet it would richly repay those who would go to the trouble to dig in it every day. Thinking you will not overcome fear, but action will. Thinking will not overcome fear, but action will. Those who do not think outside the box are easily contained. Thoughts become things. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. Thoughts come before actions, and your actions then determine your life. Once you get control of how you think, you will then get control of your actions. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. We are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens to us. We are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make our world. We must control our thinking. The same rule that can lead a man to a life of success, wealth, happiness, and all the things he ever dreamed of for himself and his family 
That very same law led him into the gutter. It's all in how he uses it, for good or for bad. This is the strangest secret in the world. What we think is what we get, so to be sure that what you were thinking is positive and reflects your current aspirations. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine, you create. When the mind is thinking, it is talking to itself. When we quit thinking primarily about ourselves and our own self-preservation, we undergo a truly heroic transformation of consciousness. While it is said that a large vocabulary is a big determinant of success, what really counts is the effect that your words have on how you think about yourself. You are as rich as you are because of the way you have used your thoughts in the past. Poverty thinking brings poverty living. Bountiful thinking results in bountiful living. You are currently as happy as your thinking. Happy thinking builds a happy life. You are the masterpiece of your own life. You sculpt your own life and you do it with your thoughts. You are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. Your actions can control your thoughts. Your thoughts are your own, uniquely yours to keep, change, share, or contemplate. No one else can get inside your head or have your own thoughts as you experience them. You do indeed control your thoughts and your brain is your own to use as you so determine. Your thoughts lead to your feelings which lead to your actions and it's your actions that lead you to your results. Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. And that's a wrap on 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 12, Thinking. Let me know your thoughts on Chapter 12. If you need some accountability in your life, connect with me for a free coaching sessions at coaching at bestbookbits.com. For hundreds of video, written, and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. Stay tuned for Chapter 13 in the series, Faith. Thanks for watching and listening and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.